Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're gonna create this crazy shard explosion. All you need is just a clip or a logo or whatever you want to animate with this shard explosion. Create with this a new fusion clip and open it in the fusion page. First, we're gonna animate this in the 3D space. So we need to disconnect our media in from the media out and with the media in selected, go up here and click on the image plane 3D so that DaVinci knows we want this media in in the 3D space, then connect it to a merge 3D and to a render 3D so we can render it out and connect it back to the media out. First, it will look exactly the same. Go here to your merge 3D, grab it and drag it into your left viewer. And here you see we got our image in the 3D space and we need that to make this shard explosion realistic. So this shard flies against us. So then you need to decide how many shards you want to create. In this example, we do like 10 shards. So take your media in one and then click anywhere around here. So we have nothing selected and then press Ctrl or Command V 10 times. And then when you've got your 10 copies, go over here, select this polygon mask and connect it to your first media in. First, you see nothing. Go over here to the inspector and click on invert. So you have your image visible. Then zoom a little bit in and create your first shard. Then first select a center point and from there on create the shape of your shard. Then go over to the inspector and the border width, increase it a bit up so you have more on the outline and a little bit of soft edge like this. Then you take this polygon mask, press Ctrl or Command C Ctrl or Command V to copy it and connect it to your next media in and then put the next media in to the left viewer. Now this line should be exactly at the same place. So just take these points above this line and drag them down. Because when you move this line, it won't fit with your next shard. Then do the same thing again, select your current polygon Copy to the next one, the next media in onto the left screen. And then once again, drag the points above down. This process might take some time, but the better you do it, the better your result will be. And then when you get close to the last one, make sure your last polygon is selected so you have this green line and then go to the first media in you cut out and put it to the left viewer so you know exactly how big this shard needs to be. So just make sure it fits down there with your first shard like this. And then go through every polygon and deselect the invert because we don't want to cut it out. We just want a piece of that. We just invert it so we can see what we've cutting out and then select again your merge 3D and put it into the left viewer. Then select your first media in and connect it with the image plane 3D because we need to have our shard in the 3D space as well and connect it with the merge 3D. And now with the image plane selected, go up here to transform, go down here to pivot and set the pivot point in the center of your shards. So in my example, it's the middle of the face right here, because later we do a rotation into the shards and when we have the pivot down here, this won't work. So set this up there. And now you see when I drag this blue line over here, we can position the shard wherever we want it to have. But we reset it for now, because I want the animation to start at frame 40. So I set there a keyframe on translation X, Y and Z and on the rotation at position Z. Because with Z we can rotate this shard and this will look very cool at the end. And then when you've set all the keyframes, take the image plane, copy it to every shard you have. And do this after you've set the keyframes and the pivot so you don't need to do it with every single shard. And then take everyone and connect it to the Merge 3D. Don't worry, you can connect a lot of them into the Merge 3D. 
I don't know if they are limited or not like this. So you have every shard connected with your merge 3D. Then at frame 40, we want it to start. So we go all the way at the end. And here on this frame, we can position these shards where we want it to have. And this is totally up to you. I place this around here and give them a little bit of rotation like this. Then I take the next one, position it maybe a bit closer down here. And when you've positioned every shard, it should look something like this. It exploded to all these shards. And now to give it a little extra spice, we want to have our shards in the focus. So we go back to frame 40, go down here, select the media in one. So our first image, our full image, hit shift and spacebar, type in Gaussian blur. And you've already see our image is now defocused. So here on frame 40, we want to have it fully focused, set the keyframe and all the way at the end, set it around to 0.5 or how strong you want the effect to have. And now we have our animation in just one straight line, but we want this like explosion effect. So it explodes and the shots go away very fast and then slow down. So go up here and open up your splines. And this will look very messy at first, but trust me, this will be very easy. Deselect all the polygons and not the image planes. We need the Gaussian blur and all the image planes. So just deselect all the polygons like this, then click on this little icon, zoom to fit, and these are all keyframes we've set. Then select everything with Ctrl A or Command A and press S so they are smooth. Then press T, so this window will pop up. Then ease in all the way to 100 and ease out all the way down to zero. So you see we have every curve starting very fast and then go very slow. So now deselect everything because now we make a shake to really underline this effect. Select your render 3D, hit shift and spacebar, type in camera shake, then go to frame 40 where your animation starts, go one frame back to frame 39, set a keyframe on the overall strength here, set it down to zero because the shake should start here at frame 40. So go around like 0.35 should be okay. And then 10 frames later, the shake ends. So we go down to zero here again. Very important, we see we have this border around our image. So go here to edges and make duplicate. This will erase these borders around here. Then go to settings, motion blur. We all love motion blur. So put it up to around eight and this to around 300. Then down here on the splines, once again, zoom to fit, command A and S. And this curve is fine like this. You can leave it like that. And then your animation should look like this. Then simply add some sound effects. I add a riser, a boom and two metal hits. All the sound effects I use are from Ghost Hack, from Ocular Sounds or Epidemic Sounds. I'm not sponsored by them, but check it out. I think I have very, very good sound effects. With that said, have fun creating and see you in the next one.